I'm Tom. I run Grizzle Animation Studio. Um, we do animations, motion graphics, which most people don't know what it is, but it's like, uh, it's basically animation, but it's like a more technical way of saying it, I guess, for more branded content or stuff which is not not like Walt Disney, but you know the opposite side of Walt Disney that you see on adverts or advertising online until you understand what motion graphics is you didn't realize how much you see it all the time you know and I'm also Tom and I'm at Grizzle uh, for the year on my placement year from university I think the highlight for me this year was the first big project that I worked on with Tom which was the skinny lager project um, I hadn't really done much animation 3d or 2d before so it was a good way for me to just dive straight in we wanted to create photo real uh, 3D and we got pretty close I'd say you know it looks yeah. I think to the, un to the untrained eye to a motion designer you'd go you know it's not real but I think to the untrained eye you'd be like oh right it's and then uh, things happen on the bottle like the label peels away it was about a rebrand for the the company mm -hmm. and um, Tom hadn't worked in uh, C4D before you might have seen it once or twice and yeah, it was just a remember. complete deep end project like you're going to do this yeah. I'll uh, yeah <laughs> this is going to happen you're going to learn how to <laughs> learn this program by doing this project so just take any opportunity you can I know it's everyone says it but it's true Tom's from Sheffield Hallam yeah. and uh, I spoke to the tutor there and put out a kind of a poster if you like looking for a uh, either a graduate or like a second third year student to come in and do a placement and Tom came in couple of other people Tom was the outstanding candidate and uh, is going to be working us for the next year has already done like five or six months yeah. at least and um, we'll come out the back of that with a, a banging portfolio of stuff that he's worked on um, and uh, yeah just get involved like if there's an opportunity try because you don't know I think people are just too quick to assume that oh, I'm not going to get that mm. or whatever. Especially if you haven't done it before, if it's something that you might not think you would like to do, it's it might end up being something that you really enjoy and you're not going to know unless you try it. So. It's just wicked in general. The music scene's really good. Life scene is good. Um, you right by the student scene's <laughs> brilliant. You right by the peaks. Your general well-being as a person for being in that environment rather than being in London where it's like. Ring, 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 buses come, oh, tubes here, but, and, and it's just 100 mile an hour. You can just relax a little bit. It, it just was the best offering for shared workspace. Like we, um, in London, we were in a shared office. Um, we had two or three desks in there, so a very similar setup to what we've got here, enough for two or three people. The shared office environment suits us because you just, you know, can't work from home, get bored, you get really depressed. So I needed a, plug-in set of friends um, and Union Street was the best offer in Sheffield, hands down.